Hi guys, welcome back to the Criminology Podcast. I'm Liz and I'm going to be discussing Helen's Law. So the aim of the campaign today was that killers should be refused parole if they refuse to say the location of their victims' bodies. Why did this occur? Because Helen McCourt was a 22-year-old who was killed by a pub landlord called Ian Sims. Her body was never found, but Helen's blood and fingerprints were found in Sims' house as well as an earring matching one of Helen's was found in Sims' car. However, Sims insists on his innocence has been in prison long past his 16-year sentence. The reason that this occurred was because Parliament needed to change the rules and the fact that they were allowed to get away with not telling the victims' families where their bodies were laid caused a lot of emotional strain for the families. And it started with Helen's mother, Marie McCourt. And it was aimed at Parliament to try and create this as a law, which occurred. It became law in 2019 with the use of petitions online and paper, newspapers and television, specifically the news networks. They use persuasive language, specifically emotive. One of the quotes that were from Marie herself was, not to have their remains to go and be able to put flowers on. It's a grief that you can't come out of. And... This is such a vital law now because not only are they ruining the lives of the the victims that they've hurt, but also they are start, they're ruining the lives of the families that were affected. That's all from me, guys. I'm Liz. You've been listening to Criminology Podcast.